They can climb, they can jump, and they can squeeze through just about anything. We'll be going over how to ferret-proof your bedroom and living room, as well as how to minimize your ferret's chances of escape. Welcome to part two of our ferret proofing series. In part one, we went over how to ferret proof your kitchen and bathroom. If you haven't seen that one yet, we definitely recommend checking it out. I've linked to that video in the description below. Now we're gonna go through various rooms in your house and point out some potentially dangerous areas for your ferret. Take a look at the furniture in your living room, specifically your couch. Take a look at that gap underneath your couch. Your ferret can and will squeeze under there. Also, couches typically have very thin material on the bottom, and this means that your ferret most likely can rip a hole and climb inside. This is actually dangerous for a couple of different reasons. Number one, when your ferret climbs up inside the couch, they can scratch at the foam in there, ingest it, and get something called an intestinal obstruction. Number two, your ferret may crawl up inside that couch, fall asleep, and you sit down and squish them without realizing it. A possible solution is unscrewing the legs on the bottom of your couch so that it can rest directly on the ground. Or you can opt to buy a couch that is so high off the ground that your ferret isn't interested in spending any time underneath. Do you have a recliner in your living room? Ferrets love to crawl up into the mechanical parts of reclining furniture, and unfortunately, there's not really a super easy way to ferret-proof those. A lot of ferrets have died like this, and it's just not worth it. Your best bet is to get rid of the reclining chair altogether. The same goes for any mechanically transforming furniture, like a futon. Your ferret will crawl up into there, and most likely, they'll get squished. Next, take a look at your bookcases and other climbable furniture. Ferrets are not as agile as cats and they're definitely not as graceful. You'd be surprised how brave your ferret is considering how clumsy they actually are. Try to think of how your ferret could scale different objects in your living room and try to remove objects and break up that path. If you have windows nearby, make sure to remove climbable items so that your ferret doesn't get access to that window and possibly get out. As far as furniture goes in general, check under all the spots that your ferret frequently likes to go underneath. They're most likely turning one of these into their favorite stash spot. You'll want to check their stash spot regularly to make sure they're not stashing anything you wouldn't want them to or something that's potentially dangerous. If you want to find out where your ferret's stash is, you can actually give your ferret something that you know that they love to stash and then follow them and watch where they take it they're most likely gonna reveal exactly where their stash spot is. Do you have heater or AC vents in your living room? Most likely they're on the ground or they're low to the floor. Make sure that these are secure where they are so that your ferret can't prop them open and go inside. One of the most important habits that you can practice is actually doing a ferret roll call. This is where you stop what you're doing and go locate each one of your ferrets. As you'll soon find out, locating your ferrets frequently can avoid potential disaster and even escape. Obviously, fireplaces can present a danger to any animal. Ferrets in particular love to climb inside fireplaces and dig around in the sand, ash, and rocks. And sometimes they'll even fall asleep in there, inside the fireplace. Because of this, you'll wanna make sure that your fireplace is blocked off at all times. And if you're about to turn on your fireplace, make sure to do a ferret head count first. Now let's talk about your bedroom, where many of you will end up giving your ferrets access to. First, let's take a look at your bed, specifically your box spring. A lot of time your box spring has very thin fabric on the bottom of it, which is very easy for your ferret to rip a hole in and crawl inside. Our ferrets have actually ripped holes in multiple box springs in our house. Once they're inside, it's pretty impossible to grab them. You kind of just have to wait until they want to come back out. And hopefully they don't decide to curl up and fall asleep in there. So how do you ferret proof a box spring? Take a fitted sheet and wrap it around your box spring upside down. This will prevent your ferret from making a hole in the box spring and crawling inside. 
Now let's take a look at your nightstand. A lot of people keep several items in here that can pose a potential risk to your ferret. Number one is medication and vitamins. Make sure to store these items out of reach, like in a high up place in your bathroom. Number two is essential oils. Essential oils are highly concentrated and can be very toxic to your ferret. Make sure to opt to store these also up high in a place like your bathroom. Make sure to keep any bottles, incense, candles, and diffusers away from your ferret. If you're interested in healthy, safe ways to reduce your ferret's odor, make sure to check the link in the description below. Number three is anything that your ferret may want to chew on. Think like a mouth guard or anything silicone or rubber. When you're not looking, your ferret may start to chew on one of these objects, break a piece loose, and ingest it causing an intestinal obstruction. This can be a very expensive surgery to remedy, and it can even result in death. If you wanna learn about the signs of an intestinal obstruction in your ferret, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Number four is for your own good. Don't have anything valuable or something your ferret could knock to the ground within your ferret's reach, such as your passport, jewelry, wallet, and keys. Ferrets are notorious for stealing valuable items and stashing them away in places you would never look. Ferrets love to crawl into dressers because they're dark and they're full of fabric that smells just like their owner. This can cause potential dangers for your ferret because they can crawl into a dresser drawer and go behind it and possibly get squished. Your best bet is to keep your dresser drawers closed at all times. Do you keep any plants in your bedroom? Ferrets love to dig up potted plants, throwing dirt everywhere and making a huge mess. Certain plants, as well as soils, are toxic to your ferret, so it's best to keep all houseplants out of reach. Ferret.org has a great list that I'll make sure to share in the description below. In the meantime, here's a quick overview of those plants. Do you have a habit of placing your purse or backpack on the floor? Make sure you don't have any dangerous items in there like lotion, soap, deodorant, granola bars, or better yet, make a habit of placing your purse or backpack high up and out of reach of your ferret. This one probably sounds weird because how could your clothing possibly pose a danger to your ferret? As many new ferret owners will find out, ferrets love to sleep in clothing piles on the ground. It smells like their favorite person in the world, which is you, and it keeps them nice, toasty, and warm. If you're like most people, you probably keep clothing scattered about your bedroom and all over the floor. What happens is your ferret finds a particularly cozy, smelly item to sleep in and curls up in the middle of your floor. Next thing you know, you go bursting through your bedroom door, stomping around because you're late for a meeting. You end up stepping on your ferret inside a clothing pile by mistake, causing serious injury. Sadly, stepping on your ferret is relatively common. The best way to prevent this is to teach yourself to walk around clothing piles. Also, you can shuffle your feet so that you don't stomp down on anything that your ferret might be inside. Of course, your best bet is making a habit of not leaving any piles of clothing on your floor so that you don't run the risk of stepping on your ferret. Just make sure your ferret isn't hiding inside the bedding when you do your laundry. You'd be surprised how small of a gap your ferrets can fit underneath. Take a look at the gap underneath your bedroom doors and your closet doors. Is it an inch or bigger? If so, you'll want to invest in something called door gap stoppers. I'll make sure to link in the description below to the ones that we recommend. Now, before I get into one of the most important things you can do to ensure your ferret safety, if you're new to my channel, my name is Haley, and I post entertaining and educational videos about ferrets every week. So if you enjoy this content, now is the perfect time to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Last thing I wanna talk about is the biggest opportunities your ferret has to escape. It doesn't mean your ferret doesn't love you. It just means that they're insanely curious about what lurks beyond the front door. And unfortunately, ferrets are not exactly known for making their way back home after they get out. First, let's take a look at your door and window screens. Do they have any holes in them? Even if the hole is small now, your ferret can pull and tear at it to make it big enough to crawl through. Make sure to patch up these holes 
or block off these areas altogether. Lastly, the best thing you can do is get in the habit of doing a ferret check, which we've talked about a lot in this video. Before you leave your house, it's really important to go locate each and every one of your ferrets. Also, when your friends come over, you can even put a sign on the door that says, please watch for ferrets when you come in and out of the house. And that can help ensure that your ferrets don't have a chance of sneaking out when other people are coming over. If your ferret does find a way out, make sure to check our protocol for search and rescue that's linked in the description below. Removing common dangers for your ferret is a great way to ensure that they live a long, happy, injury-free life. It's a long list of fixes that we went over here and I commend you for staying all the way to the end. You're gonna make a great ferret parent. These were all of our best tips and tricks on how to ferret proof your home and I hope you found them useful. Do you have any more tips that you would recommend? Make sure to leave a comment below to help out other ferret owners. And as always, if this was weaselly the best thing you've seen all day, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye. <laughs> He's curled up real tight. Put a link in the... Do I want a ferret? Do I want a ferret? I always want a ferret. Oh gosh. We have very thin... Oh, the computer turned off. Your favorite? <laughs>